So we're skipping forward a little bit in my video game movie review series. Not really sure what number this would be. Okay, that works. So let's see if this Ryan Reynolds video game movie vehicle finally breaks the curse of bad video game movies. <laughs> Pokemon Detective Pikachu follows Justice Smith's character. I honestly can't remember the character's name and I don't feel the need to look it up right now. And a Pikachu he meets voiced by Ryan Reynolds as they try and uncover the mystery behind his father's death. And... Uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Sure, there's a little bit more to this movie, but that's pretty much the basic premise of it. Oh yeah, and there's a bunch of fucking Pokemon in it. Let's stop for a minute and talk about me and Pokemon. There's not much to talk about because I know very little about Pokemon. I'm aware of its existence. I know what a Pikachu is. I know that you want to catch them all. I know it's a card game and it's a video game and it's a TV show and there's been some animated movies and it's really popular. That's about the extent of my Pokemon knowledge. I was just never into it. It never really did it for me. I think by the time it came out, I was probably just a little bit too old for it. So maybe I'm missing out. I don't know. So as it stands, I don't know anything about Pokemon. So I'm reviewing this movie purely based on its merits or lack thereof. So with all that out of the way, let's talk Pokemon. This movie's... It's just kind of boring, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's just kind of boring. I feel like this movie's really made for Pokemon fans, which kind of makes sense. But seeing as how I'm not one, I feel like it's kind of lost on me. There is shit going on in the background of this movie the whole time. And it's all stuff that while I may not know exactly what it all is, I feel like fans of Pokemon will lose their shit over it. There's little Pokemon creatures all over the place doing things. And I feel like people are just gonna be like, oh look, it's that one, and, and this one, and oh, I love that one. But me, I know what a Pikachu is, and I'm aware of a Charizard? But that's pretty much it. So all that other stuff just really didn't do it for me. It looked cool going on in the background, made the world seem kind of alive and lived in, but beyond that, not much else. Overall, the story was kinda weak in my opinion. I mean, it's okay. It carries the characters from point A to point B like it's supposed to, but it's nothing special here. And while I was on board for the majority of the movie, the last act really falls apart. When you find out the big reveal, it's just kind of stupid. The whole thing that's going on and what does happen in the end just struck me as kind of dumb. And I find it hard to believe that this type of plot point has any relation to the Pokemon series at all. I mean it might, but I've never heard of anything resembling this thing that happens in the end of the movie. Regardless though, it was dumb. The action in the movie is kind of lacking too. It's all there and it's done competently. Everything's shot well, it looks good, the special effects are pretty good, but it's just kind of devoid of any fun. It's kind of hard for me to put my finger on exactly what it was, but the fact of the matter is, is while these scenes were going on, I was just wanting them to get back to the stuff with the characters. Speaking of the characters, that would be one of the highlights of the movie. Kinda. The majority of the characters in this movie are kinda one-dimensional. Justice Smith as the main character does a pretty good job. He's a more or less likable character and he has pretty good interactions with all the characters around him. Though he doesn't seem particularly excited about everything that's going on in this world he's in. He honestly seems kinda like he just doesn't have time for it all. But the character overall and the performance given is pretty good. Ken Watanabe and Bill Nye also show up but in bit parts and only for a few minutes. And both of them, per usual, do a great job here. Everybody else in the movie is pretty drab though. Much like the movie's story, they all just come off as kind of boring one-dimensional characters. And then there's Pikachu, played by Ryan Reynolds. The absolute reason to see this movie. Ryan Reynolds does a fantastic job here with this character. Every interesting scene, bit of humor, or enjoyableness you get out of this film will include that character. But I don't think it's because it includes that character, I think it's because it includes that character played by Ryan Reynolds. If any other actor were put in this part, they would have ended up being as bland as the rest of the movie. But Ryan Reynolds brings a certain charm and playfulness to this character that the movie drastically needed. On the flip side of that, whenever he is not on screen, the movie is just pretty much a bore to watch. Now I know what some of you might be saying. It's because you don't know anything about Pokemon. You just don't get it. Actually, it's very, very faithful to the Pokemon mythos. Or something like that, I don't know. And part of that may be true. I don't get it. I'm not a fan of Pokemon, so I totally understand that. However, this is a movie that's intended for everyone, and in that respect, the movie fails. And even if I was a fan of Pokemon, I would be pretty pissed that my favorite beloved characters were put in a movie with such drab characters and a boring-ass plot. Because regardless of how much I know about a property, 
Boring is boring, people. So let's talk special effects for a minute. The movie has really good special effects. Now that's not to say that these Pokemon creatures look real. They don't. They look like cartoons. But they look like cartoons that have come to life. And that is one part of the movie that definitely does work. They don't look like realistic versions of these characters. But I think that's part of their charm. And realistic looking or not, they do look like they belong in the world that they're in. And the filmmakers did do a really good job of making them believable on screen. The only one that does come across as more realistic would be Pikachu. You can tell that they obviously spent a lot more time on that character model than all the others. Not to say the others look bad, but Pikachu just looks really damn good. All the other special effects in the movie are run of the mill. They look fine, they're not bad, and they're very believable. Also, the world they created here is pretty cool and nice to look at. Unfortunately, it's never really explored, so it's just a wasted opportunity. At the end of the day, guys, Pokemon Detective Pikachu was okay. I didn't hate my life and want to gouge my eyes out after watching it, but it's not so good as to where I'm ever really going to seek it out to see it again either. It's okay, and if you're a fan of Pokemon, you might find a bit more enjoyment out of it just based on all the stuff going on in the background at any given time. Though without Ryan Reynolds, I really don't feel like this movie would be worth much. But as it stands, check it out on Netflix one night. It's fine, and you won't hate yourself after watching it. And if you are a Pokemon fan, which many of you I'm sure are, you'll probably get a bit more enjoyment out of it than I did. So there it is, guys, my review of Pokemon Detective Pikachu. If you enjoyed and want more content like this, hit that subscribe button and help my little channel grow. If you liked what I had to say, give me a thumbs up. If not, let me know in the comments below why. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Hey, bud, what are you doing? I can't do it when people are watching. Get me the hell out of here! When deciding if I wanted to put this in my video game movie review series or not, I didn't really know if it was a movie based on a card game, or a movie based on a video game, or a movie based on a card game that was based on a video game, or a video game based on a card game. I was just kind of confused there. After a lot of research, it's kind of both. Here in the US, it was a card game first, and then a video game. Though in Japan, where it originated, it was a video game first, and then shortly thereafter, a card game. So I guess it's a video game movie, so it's part of the series. Yeah.